Kia ora and warm Pacific greetings to you all from here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. My name is Fiona Cram and along with Serge Eric, I'm co-chair of Indigenous Evaluation. Um, my dad is Māori from the Ngāti Pahuera tribe on the east coast of our North Island and our mum, my mum is Pākehā or white, also um, on, from the east coast of the North Island but originally from Denmark. It's my pleasure to be here with you today and to talk to you a little bit about the background to Indigenous evaluation and some of the work that we've been doing. Just wanted to start with a question that often vexes non-Indigenous people. And that is, who is Indigenous? Often the definitions that I see relate to people being the first peoples of the land. Uh, I know that that's the definition we use here for Māori, tangata whenua, the peoples of the land. Other countries use uh, blood quantums, uh, genetic uh, foundations of indigeneity. Some people talk about race, some people talk about ethnicity. The other thing I see a lot of is that, uh, that being indigenous is often associated with colonization, dispossession and marginalization. And this is definitely something that's common to so many indigenous people around the world, the marginalization and the loss of land that's come through colonization. Most importantly, I think, is a self-definition. So who self-identifies as Indigenous or tribal? And that's related to ethnicity, to culture, to knowledge base, to a commitment to Indigenous agenda and to the passing of our ancestral knowledge onto our new generations. If we think about Indigenous people, the count is that there are over 370 million Indigenous peoples around the globe across more than 70 countries from the Arctic to the South Pacific. And so there are an awful lot of us. And so when we came together as Eval Indigenous, we thought that there'd be a lot more strength in us connecting and working with one another for the agendas and evaluation that often are, are common to us. So that might be social justice, equity, decolonization. I think most of all, we seek a world in which there is room for many worlds. So we just want to decenter whiteness a little bit and make room for indigenous peoples alongside often peoples from other, um, other minoritized peoples. Eval Indigenous aims to advance the recognition, value and involvement of indigenous peoples in global evaluation, practice and endeavors. We also aim to promote and support Indigenous people's evaluation agendas. So putting Indigenous people at the forefront of evaluation with Indigenous peoples, and also promoting Indigenous people's evaluation and decision-making models that might not align with Western models, but are actually local, valuable practice-based models that work in Indigenous communities. As I said, we think that there's a lot of value in us joining together on these aims and in this agenda, because we have a lot of things in common and a lot of words that continue to bind us and give us that common agenda. Eval Indigenous has been undertaking a, undertaking a little bit of work around the globe. Our focus uh, this year and next year is in uh, Africa, in the Asia Pacific and Latin America start of last year, our Indigenous Māori uh, evaluation organisation, Māti Rai, held an Indigenous evaluation conference in Rotorua, in Aotearoa, and that was amazing. And um, lots of people came from overseas and uh, we were so happy to be able to host them here. And wonderful to see Serge Eric dance. <laughs> the focus of this is on hearing voices, as I say, advancing evaluation and facilitating knowledge transfer. We also have an Indigenous Voices project which comes across in our YouTube channel. And the idea of this project is to hear from Indigenous evaluators and people in communities who are thinking about Indigenous evaluation, so traditional knowledge holders. We want to put these voices at the forefront so that evaluators going into our communities wouldn't have any excuse not to team up with, work alongside Indigenous evaluators. We have an Indigenous Evaluation Atlas pro project. We want to build a directory of Indigenous evaluators so that 
the people who are working in our communities can find us and work with us. In 2018, we did a survey of the voluntary organisations just to gather information about Indigenous engagement. So I hope you enjoy uh, this webinar. We've been so happy to support the work that you're about to see and uh, we just hope it continues. We hope that um, we get an opportunity at the AFRIA conference next year to present virtually. It would be wonderful to be there in person in the embodiment of us all. But in the meantime, I hope that you and your loved ones stay safe and well and uh, in what has been a difficult year for uh, many of us around the globe. So my best wishes to you all and I'll hand the presentation over.